Adam, welcome back to Old Trafford, mate. The World Cup was nice, but how good does it feel to actually be back outside, outside Old Trafford watching the real stuff, mate? It's nice uh, because even though it's bloody freezing, uh, uh, it wasn't like Middlesbrough. So, yeah, we can count our blessings. So, yeah, it, it's good to be back. And into the next round, mate, which is interesting because it now looks like this competition is going to be taken seriously. A serious chance of getting to Wembley and even getting our hands on silverware. Do we have to throw whatever possible at this competition? Because we've got a lot of games coming up and we are going to have to stretch this squad a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, um, I think that is a worry because if you keep um, if you keep hammering the same players, you end up uh, in a situation where they've got nothing left to give. I mean, the evidence has been there in Ferguson years, and it was there with um, with Ollie's time when he, you know, when they ended up surrendering the Europa League. So he has to be careful. And um, uh, I, I know that people are saying we might not spend any money in January, but. Uh, they have to they have to sign a striker but that's that's for another time let's yeah. let's get on with the game yeah I mean the game itself Graham uh, I expected more personally from Burnley they didn't offer much there were changes in their team tonight we weren't at full strength uh, probably a good thing considering the makeshift uh, back line we had there tonight but it made yeah. it easy for him in the end yeah we had a, we had a, the lesser spotted one Bissaka and uh, and um, and, and Casemiro playing centre half when we thought it was going to be McTominay. So yeah, we had a we had a few surprises. Um, uh, Burnley, I did I think I did say before we went in that I did think uh, companies lumping lumping everything on the league, and uh, they might they might freshen it up and um, and have a have a crack with a with the squad, and I think it showed. I, I, I think we um, any. Any discomfort United had during the game, uh, they caused themselves. Whether it was Dubravka trying to juggle the ball in, in dangerous areas, or us actually just giving the ball away in daft areas as well. But whatever, whatever uh, Horlicks we we created, we seemed to get our way out of it, either by you know good recovery or just rank bad finishing from Ashley Barnes. Yeah, that is it, mate. Uh, in fairness, that for us. It's probably a good tune-up game for what's to come in terms of shaking off the cobwebs after the World Cup. Players coming back, we've had a couple of, well, not more than a couple, about a month and about a month and a half off. Uh, got to be better for Nottingham Forest because obviously the pressure's on. We're getting we're close in the top four fight. We're obviously through in this round now, but we do obviously need a lot of our first team players back, like you just said there. It was obvious when our squad stretched. They weren't as good yeah. tonight, and um, there were there were issues there tonight. But we got away with it, like you said. I think uh, uh, what, what pleased me tonight about the performance in particular, I thought we were really good without the ball, and when we pressed them high up the pitch, uh, they couldn't really cope with it. Uh, maybe we could have made more more of that. Uh, maybe I think uh, I think there were the, the thing that disappointed me slightly is there were passes that were on. That either were delayed a bit too long or they went astray but you can't argue with the goals and the goals really pretty much finish the game uh, and and you know we we got the players on the pitch that we wanted I mean Ten Hag I got the impression Ten Hag was happy to pick that pick that 11 he wasn't forced into anything in particular apart from apart from you say Maguire going ill but he also made he made all the substitutions. Uh, the only thing I would say is, um, you know, Wan-Bissaka got a game and Donny didn't. Donny didn't appear. I mean, he's yeah. he's he's he looks like the history man, doesn't he? The writing's on the wall for a few of these players, mate. Maybe a couple were in the window there today as well. Uh, trying to get a performance in. It's going to be an interesting January window, but. Again, tonight, mate, the importance of a cup run for these fans, the importance of what this fan base has been missing over the last few seasons, the connection with the players. It's quite clearly there on that side of things, but for you, <coughs> would you sacrifice a cup run just to get back in the Champions League, or do you feel like we need to add these cups? Maybe the Europa League and the Carabao Cup. I, I think, and I'll always go back to 2006, when uh, United were... 
I would say a little bit fortunate to get Wigan in the final of the of the League Cup, whoever was sponsoring it then. And I remember uh, it was Vinic's and Everest's first trophy. And I do think this club, and particularly uh, a large amount of these players, will benefit from actually winning something. Uh, I've had people take swipes at me from years back saying, "Oh, you can't, you can't count the Mickey Mouse Cup." And I'm saying, "Well, no, you. you know, it's have. a it is it, have. It's a trophy. It's yeah. a trophy, and you've got over the line. And uh, knowing how to get over the line actually counts for a lot. And I, I think." Uh, when when we won the Europa League uh, in Mourinho's pen uh, penultimate season, was it? Uh, we, you know, we did that with people who who were used to winning trophies. People forget that, and we don't have many. We don't have many in the squad. I mean, in Lissandro Martinez, now that he's a World <laughs> Cup winner, yeah, you know, man. adds adds add, add, adds to a list. You know, the the Casemiro's, the Varans. Uh, the De Gea's winners and the more, the, more, the more winners you have in a squad the easier it is to win the muscle and the memory uh, kick in so yeah I'm not I wouldn't sacrifice anything and I think Ten Hag uh, what I like about him is he knows the importance of winning every game uh, and uh, it shines yeah. through it really does uh, when, when he says it's not good enough he bloody well means it Exactly, mate. Before you go, Graham, quick man of the match. Uh, Bruno Fernandez with bells on, definitely. Cheers for coming on, Graham. Good to have you back, mate. Yeah, likewise. Cheers, Adam.